It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Cardinals and the Dirty Birds, and it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 23. First opened in 2017, there's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Arizona Cardinals and the Atlanta Falcons. to the NFL on EA Sports. With me as always, Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. Charles and I have been looking forward to this one all week, and we are underway from Atlanta. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. And leading him out, their veteran quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Now a first down throw, Warner. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. To throw, Warner. And his throw here is incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. So two incompletions have led them to an early third and ten. Now Warner. Going deep for Hopkins. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Nice job there forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game. Watching him try to take away that area of the field. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Falcons will be taking over first and ten. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. And they will be let out by their 6-4 quarterback. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. 
They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They start the drive with Anderson. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Again, Anderson. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. It appears he'll be a few inches short, so nine yards on the gain officially, and it'll be third down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And this is going to be incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. The Falcons send out their punter. Back deep, Patrick Peterson. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. A throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. First carry of the ball game now. It's C.J. Anderson. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a game of three. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. We'll force the incompletion on first down. And you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Warner. That one complete to Anderson. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So finally completes his first pass. Credit the defense, though. They've been showing him some different looks, keeping him off balance. Yeah, I like, it. I like the observation that you had there because when you give him different looks and give any quarterback different looks, it takes just a little bit longer to process sometimes, and you don't throw the ball with the same confidence. You're not sure that that's where you should go with the football, and that's one for the defense early in this game, and now he's got his first completion. Let's see if his confidence comes back, and he starts to get into a nice little groove. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Warner from the gun. It completes it once more to Anderson. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. And that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. It appears they found something that's working, and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right, maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply if you get it to him in space, more times than not, he's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available 
and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Order to throw. It's caught left side, Bolden. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Ten more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. On first and 10, Warner. And he gets it to Bolden. Then he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Working with a second and four. Now Warner. It's complete. It's Fitzgerald. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. I think that's a big pick up for first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. First down, here's the run with Anderson. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. A nice run here early on, it doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early, because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They run it again with Anderson. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. A much different second drive here, Charles. They go three and out the first time. This time, they've been able to sustain something downfield. And that's what often happens. You get the game started. You know, you have to get your footing underneath you. You have to get used to the flow of the game, the speed of the game. And sometimes that first drive is more of a probing drive. It appears they found something here in the second one. So first and goal now from the seven-yard line. Here's Warner. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. The sack sets him back a full 10 yards there on first and goal. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, it still definitely hurts. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Operating from the gun, Warner. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. With third down coming up. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. From 17 yards out. And the Cardinals will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon.
And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Extra point forthcoming. And the Cardinals will go up 7 to nothing. So that drive spans 13 plays. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. The Cardinals set now to kick this one away, and off we go. And Patterson not going to return this. It'll come out to the 25. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit jumpy. Uh, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. <laughs> just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and they out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. Here's Anderson as they begin this series on the ground. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They run the counter now. It's Anderson. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. And the Cardinals, they trot out their dime package for third down. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. The Falcons send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the Cards will take over, first and 10. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Looking to throw. Warner. That'll be taken. Anderson loses the football. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there are more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, 
You go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He completes it to Julio Jones. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. On second down, Anderson. And he gets it down to the 32. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. They run again on first down. Anderson. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Here's second and eight. Firing, and Julio Jones has it on his slam. And he's down into the red zone at the 15 after a gain of 15. First and 10. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Over the middle, complete. That's right. Touchdown, Falcons! A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons are an extra point away from drawing level. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Help out his rack, right? RAC. Run after catch, and he loves that, and he's going to carry that in at contract time. Point after, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So that drive span five plays. And the Falcons score to cap it off. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. I think he's still shaking his head a little. It was his fumble on the previous drive that led to the touchdown that has his tie. And sometimes it's worse on a runner who drops it like that to watch the other team take the ball downfield and score than maybe if they just returned it right away. You know what I mean? Because sometimes what happens that fast, you're right back out on the field. Instead, he had to watch it happen. Let's see if it affects him going forward the rest of the game. It'll be Warner on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Smith. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Here's a second and two now from the 33. 
back to throw. Warner, and his throw is going to be incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. And it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Looking to throw. Warner. Bearing this one out for Fitzgerald. And unable to connect. Incomplete. I give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try and throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Now Andy Lee will come on to punt this one away. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. 51 yards on the punt there. And it will be Falcon football. Atlanta regains possession of the football. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because... We don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where... Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time, he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Back to throw here. He'll find Jones again, complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. These two teams all tied after one. Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. Incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll look to throw again. Jones has it. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 27-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Now a play fake here on first down. He'll buy some time right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. But what looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. 
No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Second and 10 now from the 27. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Gonzalez. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Back to throw again. He finds his man complete. That's Gonzalez. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot, it'll be fourth and inches. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. So out now comes the field goal unit for the Falcons. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Play action. It's Warner. And he's got it complete to Anderson. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Up the middle, it's Anderson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Here's another of the Cardinal backs. This is David Johnson. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. This offense so far on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and five. Now Warner. An interception made over the middle. This is Bolden. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. I don't care how many times we say it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, 
We see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. A give to Anderson here out of the gun. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. He's already fumbled once in this game, and I thought the ball started to jostle there a little bit, but they got to him quickly at the line of scrimmage. They sure did, and remember, if you're not a very confident runner and you've already dropped it once, if there's traffic around you, the only thing you think about is protecting the football, not gaining yards. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. From the pistol, they run with Anderson. And good penetration here. He'll get this down. Only go back to 49-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on the quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 29-yard line. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. That's a big gainer on that play, and from experience, I can tell you, that's where defensive backs will come into the huddle and say, guys, how about some pass rush? But you're going to say it nicely because those big guys up front, they don't like being criticized very much. Quarterbacks in this league, you know they'll pick you apart if you give them time like that to find receivers downfield. Now a first down throw, Warner. This pass in, and the ball is knocked out, and the Falcons grab it. And they're going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to the positive side this time. Yeah, there was a fumble at the end of this one, but what a sustained drive. And if they keep stringing those together, you got to like their chances. And credit the defense, though. You're out there for that long, you start to get tired, but they were able to get the turnover. Did you just credit the defense? I like to credit the defense I, and the offense. I like you. And the analysts. That's perfect. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They'll look to throw. He's got his man, it's White. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. Well, Burton, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They're going to look to throw. He completes it to Jones. Gets around him. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Back-to-back -back plays of right around 30 yards, and the field position has totally been flipped. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game.
So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. They'll look to throw here. The quick slant cut. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short gain. Second and one. And that will be taken in by Ridley for a Falcon touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And they are able to add on to their advantage. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes... You throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. The extra point splits the uprights, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Five plays there on that drive, and it's Calvin Ridley who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. For the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points to Charles, but they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. 51 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Tenth carry now for Anderson. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. But it's caught on the right side. It's Smith. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Warner. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. 
And just a yard to go here on second down. On oh, the option, they go with Johnson. A nice little juke. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That good for 19 at a first down. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. On first and ten, Warner. And Bolden brings it in, complete. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Warner. Fitzgerald bringing it in over the middle. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So roughing the passer, and they get the safety there. And this is one, I think, where the safety's usually got to come a long way. So sometimes it's tough for him to slow down that momentum. That's going to draw the flag more times than not. Here's Warner. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. On second down, Warner. Screenplay, Anderson. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Oh, partner, when you see a screen pass and the defensive tackle ends up making the play, you know that one wasn't so well at all because he should be upfield by the time you throw the pass. If not, you end up with big trouble, as we just saw right there. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Warner from the gun. It completes it once more to Anderson. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Cliff Kingsbury here on fourth down trots out the field goal unit for the right hash and this one just a chippy and his kick is good and they're back with it a touchdown it's 17 to 10 so the three points there and CD that helps them inch a bit closer yeah partner when you're losing any points you see go on the board in your favor you're happy to take them the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. 
Getting set to go again on offense. We get a peek at Julio Jones now. Making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. He's getting big yardage with each and every one of them. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals' touchdown. But Charles, you can just see the frustration on the sideline. Safe to say that's not how they expected this series to go. The ball only went one way, and it was backward into their own end zone, courtesy of the pick six. And Brandon, how often do we hear offenses tell us before a game they want to end every series with a kick, right? a punt, a PAT, or a field goal. In case of a defense, they wanted in with a punt or a takeaway. And we saw the takeaway right there, and it turned out to be a takeaway that turned into six points. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And he gets it to go, and we're all even. 17 apiece. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. Patterson going to bring this out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. But the Falcons now going to go on offense late in this first half. And they've got a little under 40 seconds to go if they want to try to put something together here. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Second and two. That'll be taken in by Anderson. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Looking to throw. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Really good coverage all over the field. It took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. 
Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. Give him four yards there, and that should be the final play of this first half. So nothing separating these two teams as we head to the break all square. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. First order of business, though. Let's get a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for Arizona. And they were able to have some success throwing the football against the secondary. Look for that to continue as they try to break this deadlock. Meanwhile, for the Falcons, they were even better throwing the football. Lots of open receivers to choose from, and you can bet that'll continue to be a focus in the second half. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. And the Falcons ready to go back to work to start the third quarter. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Well, they obviously read man coverage their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. He'll look to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's right. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll look to throw again. Jones has it. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Okay, so now the question, how did he get that wide open? Well, we both know that he shouldn't because from the time they handed out scouting reports before this game, he was circled, starred, everything. Find him, cover him. But sometimes you can scheme a guy open. You put the receivers in a bunch. Maybe you move some motion. Maybe you put him on the backside of a formation, and all of a sudden you've got a better matchup. Every now and then, the offensive guys, they figure a way to get him open, even with everyone keeping eyes on him. And yeah, that's certainly a guy they want to keep trying to scheme open. 
Again, he'll drop to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Gonzalez. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Five yards remain on second down. Back to throw again. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. All about the offense so far this drive, putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and manageable became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Now back to throw. And he'll just get rid of it. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. If you have to do it to on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. The Falcons send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. Gets it away, and I don't think Peterson will get a chance to touch this one, angling for the sideline. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. Let's we'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Order to throw. Fitzgerald on the slant. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target now a first down throw Warner and that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. You can see the thought process there. With his speed, they were hoping he could pop one. Instead, the coverage was good, and they forced the incompletion. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Here's Anderson. He's got it on the draw. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. To throw, Warner. He's going to look deep in zone for Hopkins. And this one dropped in the end zone. Uh, looked like a touchdown, but not to be. And now it's fourth down. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Here's Andy Lee now as he's on to punt for Arizona. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. 
Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. So out come the Falcons now. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. He's got a man complete. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. That one good for 37 yards. As we've seen over the years, offense coordinators will often ease their way into drives. Many of them don't want to risk a turnover or put their defense in a bad spot, but not in this case. Not at all. Forget about easing into it. They took a shot. It worked. So that play much needed there as they're all the way up near the 40 for a first and 10. They'll set up a throw. This one caught by Ridley. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Second and four. They'll look to throw here. He's got right here. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Another catch by White. Back-to-back -back plays. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a give running left with Anderson. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll set up to throw. He goes underneath for Anderson. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. They'll drop to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And oh no, it's incomplete. Well, it's a touchdown if he holds on, but somehow took his eyes off of it, falls to the ground, and brings up fourth down. So out now comes the field goal unit for the Falcons. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. And that is no good. And we will remain tied here in this third quarter. Now listen, now, no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers 
continues to get better and better. Check their background. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. Good field position to start the drive after the missed field goal. Here's first down from the 42. They'll start this drive out on the ground. That's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. The 71 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front and they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. It'll be Warner on first down. This went into the hands of Metcalf. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Completes it to Fitzgerald. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. hit and he loses it and he'll be converged on quickly maybe gets a yard out of that and they will take over at the 26 yard line and that Charles he would have to think a pretty avoidable mistake you're exactly right about that partner because it all comes down to covering up the football look turnovers are going to happen they're inevitable but in a tie game in the third quarter those turnovers can change the tide of the ball game and now it's up to their defense to try and bail them out got to take care of them. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Getting the call is Anderson running left. And a short gain here down to the 22. This time able to hold on to the football, but not much room to run. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. Out of the gun, here's Warner. And Anderson's got it. And he'll be stopped short of the first down, right around the 18-yard line. It'll go as a gain of four. And that's going to make it fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. And what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. They'll run for it. Anderson. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. 
Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right, because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right play call and get everyone into the right spot and win at the line of scrimmage? That's what they did there. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. Facing a second and six from the eight. Here's Warner. Throw left side complete. That's Fitzgerald. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The Cardinals on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. Here it's third and three. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll just chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And this one is right through. And with that, they take the lead here, 20 to 17. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? The Cardinals set now to kick this one away, and off we go. From his end zone, here comes Patterson. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ballgame. They'll try and start this drive in the air. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They're going to look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Gonzalez. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, that was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Gonzalez. And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. So given five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll bring up fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. 
The Falcons send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. It's a 45-yard punt, just a one-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. They start the drive with Anderson. They'll get a yard. That's all as they get him down at the 28. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. Warner from the gun. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. And we all know how talented this guy is who's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Now Warner. And this one is incomplete. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better. Had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver. Here's Andy Lee now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. A 44 yard punt. They're going to wind up losing yardage on the return, though. And they will take over first and 10. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And some room to run now. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 61 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 41. Again, Anderson. He'll get this down to the 38. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. He'll keep it himself, and he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss.
Big third down. A field goal from this spot, 57 yards as they hope to move it a little closer. They'll look to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. The offense schemed going five wide, trying to create a chance for the big shot, and they took it. If he comes down with that one, that's a huge offensive swing. But credit the defense with a nice play, knocking that one away. And it's no good, just short. He gave it a good run, but maybe a foot or two short of the crossbar. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. A fourth quarter miss like that, there is no lonelier feeling than that kicker right now. As we all know, a lot of these games, they come down to special teams. And when that chance comes, you have to perform in order to help your team get over the top. Could have tied it. Instead, they remain down three. So good field position for the Cardinals as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Warner. He finds his man complete. It's Marsh. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Working with a second and three. Now Warner. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. So give him two yards there on the completion. And it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield and oftentimes is quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. Oh, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. And now on fourth and one, it's a fake. And he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool him. And the Falcons' defense stands tall. They'll get the football back. How about that for a call? Leading in the second half, fake punt, but this one's going to work against them. And, partner, I love a fake punt as much as anyone. In fact, I might love it more than other people, but in this case... Probably a step too far because not only does it not work, but look at the field position they gave up after the attempt. Very good starting field position for the Falcons offense as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Gonzalez. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Here's a second and seven. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. The pass rush pressure is really starting to increase on the quarterback now. They bring him down for a sack and a big loss. And back him up further as he tries to lead a scoring drive in a one-possession game here late.
The Falcons on third down. Just one conversion in eight tries. Not good. This will be third and a mile. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. He'll get 17 back there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Cliff Kingsbury is saying, hey, let's take another look at that. He's going to throw down the challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the decision to challenge does not pan out, and that's also going to cost him a timeout. The Falcons send out their punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems he? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. First and 10, Warner. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Keanu Neal. And the Falcons are going to take possession of the football. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Second and nine now. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. He'll look to throw. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Call it a loss of four there on the sack. And speaking of the number four, it brings up fourth down now. And partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything. Nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This a 33-yard attempt. 
And his kick here is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major, firing at a pin from the fairway, trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. Fitting for what's been a tight ball game. We're all even at 20 now as the kick's away. Taken at the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. With the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Another tote here for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Anderson to about the 23. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Order to throw. Fitzgerald bringing it in over the middle. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, it's a give to Anderson. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Well, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired over the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync. And the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. To throw, Warner. It's complete to Fitzgerald. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A gain there of 30 big ones. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense, but on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Back to throw, Warner. And this one complete to Smith. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. They'll run Anderson. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. A nine-yard touchdown run. So still time remaining here in this fourth quarter, but the touchdown there puts him back out in front. And you and I both know that their defense will not very subtly remind everyone that they started all of this because they held firm on the last drive and only gave up a field goal. Gave it back to the offense in a tie game and said, okay, your turn now. Make something happen. And they went down the field and scored. 
point after, right down the middle. And they will take a seven-point lead. So the drive there took six plays and a nine-yard run on the end of it. The Cardinals set now to kick this one away, and off we go. No return here for Patterson, so they'll begin things at the 25-yard line. Atlanta prepped and readied for its next possession. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Into the hands of Ryzen. That's complete. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Gonzalez. Seven catches for him now in this last one. A first down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. He'll drop to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Gonzalez. The result, only four yards there on the play, and that'll make it second down. Gosh, given the time and the short game, would he have been better off just dropping that? Yeah, when you look at the clock, you think so, but it's hard to get a receiver to drop a football. They're trained to catch everything. Clock running, and the Falcons moving with a sense of urgency. They'll look to throw. Able to find Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Well, they have had no answer for this connection all night long. Yeah, you just have to think in a two-minute situation, that's got to be a concentration lap. You know they're going to go back to him with the game that he's been having. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Back to throw. He'll find Jones again, complete. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. He's back to throw. This is Anderson over the middle. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 26. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Back to throw. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. 
There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw's made. Where's the catch? Got a catch in that spot. He'll look to throw. That's complete to White. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll look to throw again. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Got a man and he hits him in stride. So give them the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. So the face mask moves them closer. And now first and goal. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Defensively now, one more play to stop. What are they looking for? You want to take away their number one running option that you've scouted and take away their number one receiver and see if someone else can beat you. One final shot. They'll look to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And now time for one final play that has to be obviously in the end zone. You can't wait to see what they call, but you want to get it to your best player. Sometimes you have to do it by formation, move everyone to one side, and maybe he gets a one-on-one -on -one isolated on the backside. Third and goal. And keep in mind, very possibly four-down territory. Back to throw again. And this is incomplete. So no miracles here on the final play. And this ball game is over. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And a little bit of a surprise. They lose the turnover battle, but wind up winning the ball game. And this is very unusual because you know all teams stress winning the turnover battle as a key indicator to winning ball games. So when you get something that goes against the grain, like the one we saw here, it's quite the oddity. Now, let's face it, they'll be very happy that they pulled this off, but they do know that in the future, they've got to work on taking care of the football because this won't happen very often.